Esau, Edom, you have all inherited lies. See, all of y'all are confused right now, Edom. Y'all are all confused trying to figure out what the hell is going on. Why is my nation falling? Why is my country falling down? What's going on here? Why is everybody being so racially sensitive all of a sudden? It's because all the lies are being exposed now, you see. And like I've told you, you've inherited nothing but lies from your fathers. And they've passed it down to you. Leading you to believe that you were some type of special people. They lied to you. That this was manifest destiny for you. God's blessing you. You were lied to. You are being prepared for the slaughter right now as I'm talking to you. You see, this thing you call your country, it's falling because it's a lie. It's not true. And I've always said that if you build anything on sand, it shit will fall. When the wind and the waves blow, it will not stand because it's not founded on a rock of truth and love. You see? This, this thing you call America was not founded upon truth and love. It was founded upon lies, death, murder. And these are things that are undeniable. See, you can't get out of it. You can't wiggle out of these things. You will only say at the end of this, wow, I have inherited lies. That's what you're going to say, Esau. Because you have. It's already written that you'd say this. Say these things. Your fathers lied to you. They lied to you about this people that you hate so bad. These, these so-called black people. You were lied to about them. They're not black. They're not African American. They're not slaves. They are not nobodies. They are God's holy people. Set apart people. They are a nation of kings and priests. And Esau, you laid your hand upon their, their substance. You laid your hand upon them. And you were lied to about that story. You weren't told the truth about these people and what was going to happen because of what you did to these people. You see? So as you wake up and you look outside and you see the madness all around you, it's due to, to recompense. Vengeance is mine, thus saith Yahweh. He's here to serve up his vengeance for what you did to his people. Not just because the stories that you heard when you were coming up. It's because of sin. That's why. Well, sin is lies and fear. You see, that's sin. And I told you what this nation was built upon. Now, if it's not, if it was not built upon fear, then what were the so-called black people doing during slavery? Were they living in, in truth and love? Were they happy? Were you living with truth and love with them then? No, you weren't. See? You see? And it's not just that you weren't living with them with truth and love. It was that you're hating them. And, and, and killing them. And murdering them. Spilling their innocent blood. Women and children. Dashing their babies. Feeding their babies to alligators. Killing their newborn, separating families apart. You did that to God's people, you fucking idiots. You didn't just do that to some people. You did that to God's people, his children. So what you think is going to happen because of that? And even you, heathen, even you know what, what you would do if somebody came and harmed your family. So what do you think the Most High Yah is going to do over his family? That's my question to you today. You can't talk to a king that knows who he is and expect him to fall for your deception and lies. See, because we got that connected to source. He redeemed us just like he said he would. Brought us back home, restored the tabernacle. Of the house of David. Putting the two sticks and making them one stick. That's all happening right before your eyes. And that's why the little world that y'all have constructed for yourself is falling. 
It's about love for our people. And that's what you didn't know. And that's why you're trying to create all of this mayhem and all this madness right now. To create fear and panic. With your lies. You see? That's your weapon. Sin is your weapon. You are a sinful creature. You live by sin. And we all know that sin brings death. So how long do you think you're going to live? Oh, I didn't die immediately. So sin must not bring death. Adam and Eve said the same thing. You shall surely die. Hey, I ate it. I didn't die. Yeah, you did. Because we are a spiritual people. We know that it's not about walking in this flesh suit. It's about the fruits of that spirit. Have you taken the opportunity in that flesh suit to grow fruits of the spirit? Kindness, patience, forbearance, forgiveness. <laughs> or what is your track record, heathens? All of you who came to, the, to make a confederate against Israel. How about your fruits? What are your fruits? Because by, by their fruits, you shall know them. That's what we were told by our king. That's what Yisraela was told by their king. By their fruits, you shall know them. And we see your fruits. See, there was something that was bound to happen to the Israelite that you just didn't expect. And it was for that lion to rouse up. Judah is a lion's whelp. Who shall rouse him up? And one thing you know about a lion, he don't fuck around. He don't give quarter. He kill, especially for his pride. Y'all thought that day would never come. He'll be a lamb forever. We'll just be able to just keep leading him to the slaughter. That's what you thought. But see, we got a secret, and that's that story of the life within. When we rise up within ourselves, when Abayah would lift us up, the valley of dry bones would stand upon their feet and be an exceedingly great army. When we read that scripture, the dead in Christ shall rise. We're not looking for what you're looking for, heathens. We know that means inside of us. The elect who are walking the earth, waiting for that activation. We know that's what it means. Y'all don't understand it. And if you do understand it, then that means you've been lying, doesn't it? These are your churches, are they not, heathen? These are not your universities? These are not your colleges, heathen? These are not your schools of higher learning, higher education, heathen? Is this not so? So then if you do know the truth of who we are and and what the story of the words are about, then that means you've lied. It's either that or you don't know the truth. Either way, you're fucked. Either way, you're fucked. Because if you don't know, then that means you can't stop what you don't know. Just like your president is telling you, isn't he? Isn't that what your president is saying to you? We're fighting an invisible enemy. Fighting something we can't see. What does the scripture say about the Most High Yah? He's invisible. Or, or I'm tripping here. I'm tripping here. All of you heathens. Oh, and I'm speaking to also you sell out fake ass black people. You're actually really black people. I'm talking to you too. You masons. You fucking fake ass lodge motherfuckers. That book is a Masonic book. <laughs> you keep believing that shit. That, that lie that your enemy taught you. You little fucking wannabe gatekeepers. Y'all gonna burn for the shit. Every last one of you is gonna fucking burn. Because you're all trying to suppress the truth. And like I said. Any of you motherfuckers. Think you got a chance against this truth. Then step right up. I'm like the nigga at the circus. Step right up. Take your best shot, motherfuckers. Take your best shot. 
And let's see if the scriptures don't be fulfilled that day. That what? The wicked flee with no man pursuing. But the righteous are what, Yisraela? Bold as a lion. Just like I've been telling you, heathens. Bold as a lion. You didn't expect that shit. You didn't expect him to look you in your fucking eye and say, no. Bitch. No. Get in your fucking place. What? The, the Bible says to be nice and kind to like-minded people. What did Christ say? Yisraela? What did Christ say? My mother and my brother are those who do the will of the Most High Yah. Don't come to me with no bullshit. Help me, help me, my daughter, my daughter, my daughter. It ain't right to give the children's bread to no damn bitches. It ain't right to give it to the dogs. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Y'all uh, may act like y'all don't read them words. Who is this that cometh from Edom, Basra? With his garments look like he been treading in the wine press. Who is that? The man looked like he'd been crushing, crushing grapes with his clothes. He'd been treading through the wine press, it looked like, covered in blood. Who is that man of Isaiah 63? Who is that heathen coming from Edom with his clothes look like they've been dipped in the wine press? Huh? And when he, st when he thought to stop slaying you motherfuckers, his fury upheld him. And he crushed until there was nothing left but dust. Who is that? What about what is that prophecy about? What is Obadiah about? Somebody tell me. God damn it. You fucking cowards. You want to run and fucking hide. But you want to stand behind the Bible and the, this Christian doctrine. But when somebody bring the truth out, you want to run and hide. No. Stand here and somebody answer for the shit. What is the book of Obadiah about, somebody? That's claiming to know the Bible. Put it down there in the comment section if you know. What is it about? Who is it talking about? It's only one chapter. It can't be that fucking hard. Can it be? Can we do a quick study about Obadiah, somebody? Who is it talking about? What nation? And what does it say is going to happen to that nation? They're going to be extinct. So now I'm going to ask you. What nation are the people of the earth today that are going to go extinct then? Because that's what it says is going to happen. There won't be any of them left. There won't be none left of this nation called Edom. So who is Edom on the earth? Can somebody put it in the comment section, please? Stop being cowards. And somebody put it down there. Who is the nation of Edom today? Who are they? What do they look like? What are the characteristics? Because there won't be any left remaining, Abba says. That's what he said. Now I want somebody to deny the shit. Step up here and deny that that's what the scripts say in Obadiah. One chapter. And it's all about one people getting destroyed off the fucking earth. Because of their hatred for the so-called black people. Well, that's another clue. Who hates so-called black people on the earth? Who hates the Hebrews more than everybody else? When you look at pictures in the past when you were hanging up there on the ropes, hanging off the fucking trees with your tongue hanging the fuck out, who was standing down there with a smile on his fucking face? With his child, his daughter, standing there? Huh? Who was the one that beat the skin off your sister's back until the, skin, the flesh ripped through until the blood came streaming out? Who did that? Because there's only one people when I look back who's has a track record of doing this. Tulsa, Oklahoma. Bombed. Churches blew the fuck up with girls in there. People tracked down in the middle of the night by mobs, lynch mobs, killed, false crimes, falsely accused and murdered. Who's did that to them? Will somebody answer these questions? Since you all want to know what the fuck is going on on the earth right now. Everybody wants to know what's going on. What's mis happening? They got us wearing masks. They got us doing this. They got us doing this. Answer for the crimes then. Stop denying your crimes. Stop pushing it back saying, oh, it just happened back then. Because I guarantee you, if we had did this shit to you, you would never let us forget the shit. Why can't we just all move along? Because nothing has changed. You're still trying to maintain your position. Of lies over me. Because that's over now. And that's why you're going to crumble slowly. And perfectly. Into nothingness. Because you have a problem called pride. 
and God hates that shit. Abba Yah hates pride. He can't stand it. And you're filled with it. All of you heathens are. We'll never have to ever come off of our throne. Man, look here. Bring my throne to me. Bring the throne of David and bring it to me. I demand my shit back. All of it. Everything you fucking Romans, you took out of the fuck. I saw the little Arch of Titus. Carrying the menorahs out of the temple. Carrying all the goodly things out of the temple. The Ark of the Covenant. The scrolls, the staff of Aaron, the rock of testament. You think we don't know that you have stolen these things and that you have to recompense for them. <laughs> your pride, your fucking pride. Ugh, that's the most delicious ingredient when you kill your enemy. It's the taste of that pride seeping out that nigga. That's the most tasty ingredient to watch seep out of that nigga. Is his fucking pride. When he said it would never happen. To watch him have to succumb to it slowly. And bend down and get on his fucking knees in front of you. And admit the truth. That you are the most highest prize. His jewel. His favorite. His set apart. His holy. This is written. That they will come. Hanging on the edge of your skirt. Of the one who is a Jew. A real Yahudim. Take us with you. For you are a blessed people. It's coming Yisraela. It's here. The tables are turning as we speak. All things are coming into alignment. All truth is coming into alignment. Can't you feel it? Can't you feel the things that were meant for you yesterday Allah, are coming into your life now? Can't you feel that power coming into your life and the wickedness leaving out? The bullshit leaving out of your leaving out of your life and the good coming in? Can't you feel it? They're not feeling that. Your enemies are not feeling that. These fucking heathens are not feeling that. And they won't feel it. They will only feel a crushing, a suffocating, a demoralizing. That's all they were experienced in these days because of what they've done to you. It's not about anything else. It's about what they've done to you. The great day of vengeance upon the heathen. And you sit up here wondering, who, who, who's going to, who, who's the heathen? What's going on? Most of Israel I grew up thinking they were heathens, thinking they were Gentiles. Oh, I'm just so glad I'm saved by grace defined by Jesus Christ. Till the lies were removed. So all the lies are being removed now. There is no cloak for your sins anymore. There is no cloak for your lies. None. None. And if anybody wants to debate it, they want to say, hey, I don't agree. I don't think this is true. I don't think this is happening on the earth. I don't think it's because of this. Then challenge me on this shit. Somebody put the shit down there in the comment section and say, I don't believe this. The Bible doesn't say that. But we know good and damn well you can't fucking do it. Your asses are checkmated with the truth. And the truth puts me above your fucking head, heathen. That's why you hate the truth. That's why you hate me. That's why you hate God. That's why. Too fucking bad. Deal with this shit. Get under my fucking foot, man. Get down there. Bow to the throne, nigga. Bow to the throne. Utter it with your fucking mouth today. Utter it. Because every tongue going to confess. Every knee is going to bow. And all of you fucking heathens waiting for your white Jesus, you're going to be sorely fucking mistaken when you see the real one. You're going to be sorely mistaken because you're going to bow with tears in your fucking eyes and they're not going to be tears or tears of joy either. They will see him who they pierced. And they're going to be shocked at the strangeness of his salvation. The strangeness of his salvation. We know what the scripts say. The strangeness of his salvation. It's going to be a strange thing to behold. Huh? Those are the people of God? That's Israel? Yep. 
Yep, the little willy-headed, melanated people, just like you're reading all through the scripts. And you fucking liars. Oh, that's not saying that Jesus is a black man in Revelation. It's saying burnish bronze and hair like wool. And all this bullshit trying to get around the obvious truth. Okay, what, what, what does Daniel say, you smart ass? What does Daniel say about the Ancient of Days? Who is the Ancient of Days? Hmm. Well, we all have to agree on who that is. What does it say about him? He sat on a throne. I sat and watched all the thrones were cast down. See, that's happening now, bitches. All the thrones of the earth are being cast down. And I beheld that the Ancient of Days did sit, and the hair of his head was like pure wool. Now, no, no, no. There's one people on the earth that have hair like a sheep. You fucking dummies. You can try to get around and shit all you want. So the Ancient of Days has hair like I got. Got hair like my mama got. Like my daddy. Like my sisters. Like me. The Ancient of Days now. Not to mention the revelation of Yahusha, Hamashiach. Not to mention that revelation. Not to mention the, the, the living beings who had skin like burnished brass as well. They're set on their arms. It was like brass, the color of brass. And like color, it say, like brass. So it's the same color as brass. You see how these fuckers just want to lie to you? No, it says their skin was like in color to brass. Well, let's see here. I'll be damned. I'll be damned. That look like fine brass to me. That looks like fine brass to me. Checkmate, bitch. Your lies don't fucking work anymore, man. So Israel, y'all chill easy today, man. I say siloam to you. Peace upon you and yours. And to these fucking heathens, goodbye. Kum yasharallah.